Okay, welcome to another edition of Fantasy Dream Homes. And today we are headed to Minneapolis, Minnesota. We're going to stop right here. It's while we can still see our state boundaries there in the white. So this is Minnesota coming up right here. And those, that bright yellow border is the Canadian-American border. And then Minnesota comes down around like this and tapers off right there at the Iowa-Wisconsin border. Wisconsin over here, Iowa right here. And it's also surrounded by South Dakota, North Dakota, and Canada to the north. So let's go in a little bit closer, see what we see on our magic carpet ride into Minneapolis. And we are going to stop right about there. Okay, so here's St. Paul, and here's Minneapolis right here. And this river, well, you can't really see it that well. This is, this is the Mississippi River comes along in here. Anyway... So, little information about Minneapolis. We have featured Minneapolis before in Fantasy Dream Homes, and we will continue to do so. It's, it's the most populous city in Minnesota with a metro population of about 3.6 million people. And it's known for its uh, high-rise uh, office building skyline, its strong music uh, scene and performing arts, and its vibrant nightlife. It's known also as the City of Lakes. There apparently are 22 lakes within the borders of the city. And downtown Minneapolis is larger, more if you, it's part of the Twin Cities, which is Minneapolis-St. Paul. Downtown Minneapolis is larger, more cosmopolitan than downtown St. Downtown Paul. Um, in Minneapolis, the University of Minnesota resides, and there's a fairly large student population. And let's get on to the climate. The climate, uh, Minneapolis experiences a hot, humid summer, and it's considered a continental climate, typical of southern parts of the upper Midwest. And the city features very cold, snowy winters. And if we just go right now to our beautiful climate chart here in Wikipedia, you can see if we look at, let's just look at the daily average. So the daily average temperatures. So you have your, in the parentheticals there, those are your Celsius temperatures and your Fahrenheit is the non-parenthetical. So January, December, January, February, your coldest months, uh, pretty cold temperatures. And when you look at the lows, average lows every day, you know, you can see. And then you get some really hot temperatures in the summer. It's going to get um, in the upper 80s. Not, not really hot. I mean, we're not talking about Phoenix hot or anything like that, but hot enough. So definitely has weather that goes to both extremes. Our tourist site today is Meet Minneapolis, and we will put this in show notes as always. Our real estate site is Sotheby's International Real Estate. We try to mix it up a little bit. If we had one real estate site that gave us everything we were looking for, we would probably stick with that one site. One of the things you're going to notice about Sotheby's is they don't list bill date, which to me in the United States is very important to know. It will clue you on several things. So we're going to get right to it. Let's check out our first house. And in fact, it's not a house. It is a condo, and it's going for $1.4 million. It's three bedrooms, three full bathrooms, no half bathrooms. The interior space is 2,800 square feet, just a, just a hair over. It is an unknown built date, as we said, and we're not going to know any of the built dates on these. So let's check out this first fantasy dream condo.
Okay, so this next house is going for almost $2 million. It's six bedrooms, five full bathrooms, one half bathroom. Interior space is about 5,600 square feet. It's sitting on about almost a quarter of an acre of land. It was built, well, we don't know. So let's check out this next fantasy dream home.
Okay, so moving on to our next fantasy dream home. It's going for almost $2 million. It's four bedrooms, four full bathrooms, two half bathrooms. Interior space is over 6,300 square feet. It's sitting on just a hair over a quarter of an acre of land. Built on built date unknown. Let's check out this next fantasy dream home.
So I'd like to take a minute and just show you something I think you would really be interested in. If you like the YouTube channel Fantasy Dream Homes, I think you're really going to like the Pinterest page of ours, uh, Fantasy Dream Homes, by the same name. You can find it here, right up here. Here's the uh, address, the URL address, pinterest.com slash fantasy dream homes. And if you scroll down here and we go to our boards page, you will see boards that if you like looking at luxury homes, you're going to love this Pinterest page. We have everything from magnificent master bedrooms to ultimate master bathrooms, luxury dressing rooms, kitchen ideas for luxury homes, butler's pantry, cozy nooks and alcoves, reading rooms, you know, grand entryways, fantastic fireplaces. We also look at luxury appliances and we look at plumbing fixtures and we look at lighting and we look at staircases, swimming pools, and flooring, furniture, anything you would see in a uh, luxury home, this is the place to go. And if you want, like say for example, you click into archi architectural styles of homes, okay? You actually can see all the different, we've separated uh, all the major categories of homes, log cabins, contemporary style, craftsman, Queen Anne, Greek Revival, Tudor, Victorian. So there's something for almost everybody who's interested in home architecture or luxury homes. So we invite you to, to please visit our Pinterest page and we'd like you to follow us on Pinterest. And we hope to see you on our Pinterest page. Thanks a lot. All right, so this next home is going for two point, almost $2.5 million. Four bedrooms, two full bathrooms, one half bathroom. Interior space is over 4,000 square feet. It is a condo, so there is no uh, lot size, and the built date is unknown. Let's check out this next fantasy dream home.
okay? It is three bedrooms, three full bathrooms, no half bathrooms. Interior space is 20, just over 2,500 square feet. It's sitting on not even a half an acre of land. Don't know the built date. So before we check it out, I want to ask you, let's compare that to the house we just looked at. Let's look at the numbers. Okay, so now we went, we're up to, the last house was at 4,000, it was a condo, it was 4,000 square feet. Uh, this one was only 2,500 square feet. And you're getting a lot bigger house, four bedrooms, two baths, yet the price difference 2.495 million and 2.75 million, okay? So why is this house more expensive than this, than this condo, okay? And it's the answer is it's not because one's a house and one's a condo. Um, it could be, but not in Minneapolis. It's not gonna the, make that much of a difference. The answer is the answer lies in the architecture of this house. So I'm not gonna give it away until you've had a full chance to look, but it, that's the hint. It has to do with the architecture. So let's check out this next fantasy dream home. Let's see if you can figure out the answer.
Okay, so did you figure it out? Did you figure out what is it about this particular house that made it so much more expensive than the house we just saw in relation to it's a much smaller square footage, you know, less bedrooms. Why is this house so pricey? And I, the hint was it had to do with architecture. And I'll give you one more hint before I reveal the answer. And I'll, that will be, it's the, it actually is an architect with the initials FLW. And the answer is Frank Lloyd Wright. Whenever you have a Frank Lloyd Wright home for sale, the asking price is going to go up by at least a couple hundred thousand dollars. He's one of the most well-known architects in the United States of America, and it just he didn't do just residential properties. He also did commercial buildings, and he did hundreds of works. When you look at this, to me, I spotted it immediately. Think about it this way. When you're looking at a painting and you see there are certain certain things you just immediately, it just strikes you right away. Like so you're looking at a painting of Georgia O'Keeffe or Jackson Pollock or Claude Monet. Right away, you can, in your image, in your mind, you immediately picture certain, the, the styles are just so unique. Or music of, you know, Johann Sebastian Bach or Wolfgang uh, Amadeus Mozart or the really unique saxophone style of David Sanborn or the really unique guitar playing style of uh, Mark Knopfler of uh, dire, dire Straits. You know, the, there are just certain artists who just have such a signature style that you just see it immediately. And this is one. And I actually then looked up on the, the page uh, on Wikipedia this is referred to as the Frida and Henry J. Neal's house. And I will put this in the show notes, by the way. And it's a house in Minneapolis designed by Frank Lloyd Wright. The home was designed for Henry J. Neal's, a stone and architectural materials distributor, and his wife, Frida. And it says it is unusual for a Wright-designed home, both in type of stone used as well as in its aluminum window framing. Well... I don't know if it would say it was unusual because I I have recognized it immediately. If if I were driving through this neighborhood, I would have done a double take. I would have looked looked away and then looked back again. And it's and it's like whoa, that's a Frank Lloyd Wright house. You can just see it immediately. Anyway, it's a little interesting read here, and I'll put it in the show notes for you. But hopefully, you did well on the quiz. You know, let us know in the comments. All right, so our next fantasy dream home is going for almost $4 million. It's two bedrooms, two full bathrooms. And the interior space is over 3,000 square feet. The acreage of land is not even quite a quarter of an acre. Do not know the built date, but let's check out this beautiful fantasy dream home.
right, our next Fantasy Dream Home is going for $5.35 million. It's five bedrooms, five full bathrooms, two half bathrooms. Interior space is over 7,300 square feet. It's sitting on a lot that's almost three quarters of an acre of land. We don't know the build date. Let's take a tour of our seventh and final Fantasy Dream Home of the day.
Okay, that wraps up another edition of Fantasy Dream Homes, and we hope you like touring uh, Minneapolis and checking out those beautiful homes. We invite you to check out the Fantasy Dream Homes Pinterest page, where you will find hundreds of luxury home images, both interiors and exteriors, along with luxury home products that would complement any luxury dream home. If you have time, visit our website where you can browse through our luxury home photo gallery. You can peruse our blog, which is full of luxury home topics that you're sure to enjoy. And please leave any comments or suggestions how we can make the videos better for you. Also, please smash that like button and share the video with friends. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join our community of luxury home lovers. When you do subscribe, click the little bell icon so that you'll be notified every time we come out with a new video. And lastly, we want to thank you so very much for watching, and we hope to see you next time here on Fantasy Dream Homes. Keep smiling, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.